See how I built this simple circuit to give me local control of my garage door from Home Assistant. Hi, I'm Larry, the Impatient Maker. Like a lot of people out there, I use Home Assistant software to do my home automation management. I love it. It's great stuff. Uh, and also, like a lot of people that use Home Assistant, I have a garage door opener, electric, that I want to manage along with everything else. I have a LiftMaster, a uh, very common brand name, Chamberlain's another uh, same company, I think. And they had a cloud solution called MyQ that they were that they use to allow people to control their garage door openers, but they no longer support Home Assistant. What are you going to do? Well, a clever guy named Paul Whelan came up with a solution and he created a device called Rat GDO, Rage Against the Garage Door Opener. Uh, and he designed his own hardware. Uh, he open sourced the software. He sells the ready made device for about 30 bucks. And uh, I think that's what most people should do. But it's back ordered and I like to tinker a little bit, so I decided to see if I could build my own. So I did some searching and I found a uh, GitHub repo called Rat, Rat GDO, Rage Against the Rat GDO. This person reverse engineered the schematic. The information is targeted at uh, people that know how to solder well, in their own words. Uh, pretty advanced expert. Uh, that's not me. But I felt after looking at the information that there's a pretty good chance I was going to be able to succeed at this. Did take me three tries, but I finally got one working. If you don't already know, the RAT GDO is a small device that has a microcontroller that uh, runs software, uh, and essentially it emulates the device on the wall of your garage that has the button to open and close the door. It does uh, might have other things too, um, but it also has a wire or connection to the obstruction sensors um, near that you know go to your garage door. I chose not to connect the obstruction sensors because um, it the device will open and close just fine with just the two, the red and the white wire. That's all the garage door opener button needs as well. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, it's still, if you block the sensors, it'll still stop the garage door from going down. Um, it's, I think it's probably an extra level of safety for the, the RAT GDO to know if there's an obstruction or not. Um, but I decided I was willing to Accept the risk, <clears throat> and that's a decision that you have to make on your own. Um, my circuit would still support it, I just didn't connect it. So, uh, The nice thing about doing it that way is that I was able to put it on the wall near the opener button. I didn't have to put it up in the rafters where the opener is. If you're wondering how the RAT GDO or RAT RAT GDO functions, there's a very good uh, detailed description of the operation on the RAT RAT GDO website. Well, and of course, I put a link to it in the description uh, and encourage you to go read that. Um, it helped me to understand how it worked when I was debugging, for example. The microcontroller just runs the software and the transistors and resistors uh, are, are there pretty much just to deal with the voltage difference between the microcontroller, which is 3.3 volt, and the garage door opener, which is 12 volt. So on to building the circuit. Um, you'll need all the components as listed in the uh, RAT, RAT GDO instructions, um, which I've also put in my description. And, uh, and I made a little video on my phone to kind of give you a tour of them. Uh, and then we'll get on with the schematic. So you'll need a, a Wemos D1 or clone compatible. They usually ship like this without the headers soldered in. Um, I think you might be able to buy them with them already soldered. Um, and then you should get two of these. I somehow made a mistake and misread something and I got one of these instead. It actually works, uh, but it probably, I mean, I don't recommend it necessarily. Um, so the two of these, uh, two and seven thousands, um, for the resistors, you need three, sorry, transistors, three, uh, of these 10 K resistors. Um, and then, uh, I suggest you lay it out on a breadboard, make sure it works, um, which in which case you'll need some DuPont wires. Um, but then when you're ready to solder it all together, I like using these electric cookie uh, PCBs um, because they're wired like breadboards. You know, every column on here is connected and same on that side. Um, and I just, and they're kind of decent size. Uh, they work great for me. At some point while you're building the circuit, either before you start soldering or after, you need to load the software onto the Wemos D1. 
and there are a lot of videos on how to do that. You want to use the ESP Home version, which I will link to uh, down below in the description. And uh, you just want to pick the right version. It's the blue 2.5 one, last time I checked. Uh, it tells you on the Rat Rat GDO instructions. And install that software. Um, honestly, that's usually the part I have the most trouble with. Sometimes the serial driver doesn't quite work and I have to uninstall it or reboot or something. I can usually make it work though, but that can be frustrating. Um, so get that software installed and then once it's installed, uh, you will be able to connect to it over Wi-Fi. It will probably complain about the collision or something um, because it doesn't have the right serial line hardware yet. Uh, but at least you'll be able to see that it renders a web page and that it's working. So now the next step would be to lay everything out on a breadboard and make sure you have it working correctly. Um, I decided to start um, when looking at the schematic to with the all the components uh, that need to connect to ground because there's those are I think that's what has the most connections. And so I have it here. I've uh, highlighted it in yellow, and I would start by laying all those out. Um, and that includes the uh, white wire that connects to your garage door opener. And then the next thing I did is I uh, worked on the red side, which uh, pretty much just goes to um, the two transistors, one on the gate, one on the drain um, for transmit and receive. Um, and then the rest of the connections, which uh, are the resistors and, um, and then the GPIO pins. Um, I did not, as I mentioned, do the uh, obstruction sensor except for uh, I just did one of the resistors just because I, I don't know. I didn't know enough about it to know if I couldn't, um, but it seems to work. So you'll want to connect that to your garage door opener, red to red, white to white, uh, and make sure you plug in the USB power to the Wemos. And connect, if you have a phone, connect it to the, the website address that the device has. Um, you can find that out. You probably have it discovered by Home Assistant, and then you can uh, visit the device through the settings and see the uh, the serial line. You shouldn't get any more collision notices. Um, if you press the button on the garage door opener, um, you should see a bunch of traffic, the, uh, the log output. Um, so once you have that working, uh, it's time to build the actual circuit. So I already built mine before I decided to make a video. So I did a little tour of it uh, with my phone. So here is a uh, my rat rat GDO. I uh, just pulled it off my garage door. Um, I built it before I decided to make the video, but um, so I used the electric cookie as I said. Um, this is the Wemos, and what I did is I, since there are several things that need ground, I decided to run a wire from black. So you probably can't see it that well, but from ground on the Wemos to this very far. Uh, column here using that as a grounding bus probably didn't need to because I think it, in the end there's only three or four things but I was worried I was going to run out of holes on that one um, the uh, the resistor that needs to go to I think it's d7 for the obstruction I kept that in uh, even though I didn't run the obstruction line so what you would probably do then is uh, is go from that to over to a third uh, terminal and then for the transmit and receive can't remember which one's which um they, you know they talk to these two transistors again remember i probably should have just used two of these but i got this one in there um the white is the white wire that goes to the garage door opener and i also kind of used it for <clears throat> kind of to indicate ground so it goes to this column here which has the, the source line of both of these um transistors now you, you can wire this any way you want. It's kind of an artistic thing, sort of like telling someone how to load a dishwasher. But this is how I did mine. So uh, hopefully take a good long gander, and I uh, hope this helps you build your own. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos from the impatient maker, learning the hard way so you don't have to.